Yet another eyewitness account of the shooting death of Michael Brown suggests the unarmed teen had had his hands up before he was fatally shot. CNN has obtained new, exclusive video purportedly showing the scene minutes after the shooting. Watch the man in the pink shirt raising his hands. He told CNN he was demonstrating what he'd just seen Brown do. A couple key accounts from the two unnamed men in the video, which was taken by a bystander. They told CNN they didn't see what led to the altercation, but that they did see Brown running away from the police. One said the officer chased Brown, fired a shot while Brown's back was turned, and fired another shot when he turned to face the officer with his hands up, which we've heard from other witnesses as well. His hands immediately went in the air and he turned around towards the officer face to face. It was definitely like being shot like an animal. He started running away from the cop. The cop follows him and kept shooting, and the kid body jerked as if he was hit. As it, after his body jerked, he turned around, he puts his hands up. One note, though, the two men from that video told CNN they don't know Michael Brown's family and aren't from Ferguson. Protesters have been demanding answers since Brown died more than a month ago in Ferguson, Missouri. Justice Department is investigating. A reminder, Ferguson police initially said Officer Darren Wilson was acting in self-defense and that prior to the shooting, he and Brown tussled through the window of the police car. But police chief Tom Jackson said Brown assaulted the officer and tried to take his weapon. That a struggle of some kind happened in or near the police car isn't necessarily a subject of debate. Also undisputed, that Brown was unarmed. What is disputed among numerous now public witness accounts, though, is whether Brown had moved toward the officer while his hands were up before that fatal shot. The Brown family asked for a private autopsy, which in mid-August found Brown had been shot at least six times with two shots to the head. A grand jury will decide whether Officer Wilson faces any charges. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman.